Kazakhstan's largest city, Almaty, may have a small global profile, but that will all change if it wins the vote to host the 2022 Winter Olympics. But they fear they have a disadvantage against Beijing, as Olympic officials are banned from visiting bidding cities. The members of the IOC should come and look at our city because everyone who visits us falls in love with our city. I think maybe when they decide, they won't feel Almaty's energy. With 40% of the population under the age of 24, Almaty is trying to portray itself as a young, vibrant city. Unlike Beijing, there's plenty of natural snow, which prompted their bid slogan, Keeping It Real. They've planned a compact games with all events taking place within a 30-kilometer radius. 70% of the venues are ready, and that will increase by 2017 when they host the Winter University Games. The $1.7 billion to pay for the Winter Olympics comes from Kazakhstan's rich reserves of oil and gas. IOC members fear falling energy prices could hit the Kazakh budget. Kazakhstan's human rights record is also a concern. We are very concerned about the freedom of the speech, especially freedom of expression, freedom of peaceful assembly, freedom of association, freedom from torture, and uh, freedom of belief. From the 1950s, Almaty was the winter sports hub for the Soviet Union. But since the independence in the early 90s, Kazakhstan hasn't been very successful in the Winter Olympics. They've only won seven medals and only got one last year at Sochi. These teenagers plan to reverse Kazakhstan's Olympic fortunes, ideally in Almaty, in 2022. Yes, I can win the Olympic Games and bring back to my country the first and hopefully not the last gold medal. Certainly it would be good, it would be prestigious, it means everyone would come to Kazakhstan and it would be good for us, everyone would be proud of Kazakhstan. They now just hope that the IOC members take the leap and vote for Almaty on Friday. Richard Parr, Al Jazeera, Almaty.